Welcome, have a nice day. Today is Tuesday, 2nd of May 2023. This day is celebrated as World Tuna Day. It is observed on 2nd May and is established by the United Nations to raise awareness about the importance of tuna fish. 2nd May is also celebrated as a World Asthma Day. First Tuesday of May, World Asthma Day is observed every year on the first Tuesday of May and to spread awareness about and care about the asthma in the world. So starting the news with analysis with the news with the Hindu states that Treasury's uh, Yellen says United States could hit debt ceiling as soon as June 1st. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen notified Congress on Monday that the United States could default on its debt uh, as early as June 1st if legislators uh, do not raise or suspend uh, the nation's borrowing authority before then and avert what could potentially become a global financial crisis. Treasury Secretary uh, Janet Yellen has notified Congress that the United States is projected to reach its uh, debt limit as early as June 1st if the body does not raise or suspend the debit limit before then. Here is an image. The Hindu newspaper also states that United States to lift most federal COVID-19 vaccine mandates next week. The Biden administration will end most of the last remaining federal COVID-19 vaccine requirements next week when the national public health emergency for the coronavirus ends. The White House said on 1st May, the Biden administration will end the last remaining federal COVID-19 vaccine requirements next week when the national public health emergency for the coronavirus ends. Here is an image. The Hindu newspaper also stated that the United Nations says Taliban envoy can meet Pakistan China ministers next week. A UN Security Council Committee on May 1st agreed to allow the Taliban administration's Foreign Minister Amir Khan Muttaki uh, to travel to Pakistan from Afghanistan next week to meet the, with the Foreign Ministers of uh, Pakistan and China, diplomats said. Taliban administration's uh, Foreign Minister Amir Khan Muttaki has long uh, been Subjected to a travel ban, a set freeze and arms uh, embargo under Security Council sanctions. For the photo of Finance Minister of Afghanistan, Taliban run cabinet, Amir Khan Muttaki. Going towards the Indian Express newspaper states that center cuts with windfall tax on petroleum crude oil to Rs 4100 per ton. The government has scrapped the windfall tax on petrol, diesel and aviation turbine fuel at zero. India has cut the wide windfall tax on petroleum crude to Rs 4100, uh, 50.14 dollar per ton from 6400 rupees per ton effective from tuesday according to a government notification the government revises tax uh, rates for you know, fortnightly uh, based on oil price fluctuations indian express also states that women conceives after tubic tommy madras high court tells uh, tamil nadu government pay rupees 3 lakh the Madhuri Madurai bench of Madras High Court mandated a provision of Rs 1.20 lakh a year of our child's needs to, until they graduate on turn 21. The woman, a homemaker and her husband, an agricultural laborer, already had two children when she opted for a tube Kutomi uh, at Thuthuki Khuri uh, Government Medical College Hospital in 2013. And an extra also states that down under in Mumbai, India's first under sea tunnels to open in November. The 10.58 km MCRP links Marine Drive, drive to the Bandra Worli Sea link and is just one part of the coastal road project the high speed coastal road aims to cut down the 45 minute commute from girgaon uh, to worli during peak hours to just 10 minutes the largest tunnel boring machine ever deployed in india was used for the project when was the Hindustan Times newspaper states that gangster Tilu Tajpuraya 
accused in Dali's Rohini court shootout killer in Tihar jail. Jailer gangsta Tilo Tajpuria and accused in the Rohini court shootout case was killed after being attacked by rival gang members Yogesh Chunda and others in Dali's Tihar jail. And sometimes also stated that War of Words cash rewards over the Kerala story film top points. The content of the upcoming Hindi film The Kerala Story has snowballed into a massive political backlash with the ruling left Democratic Front LAF, the opposition United Democratic Front UDF and the Congress opposition opposing the film. Yes, the Times also states that India, China, LAC, a row enters fourth year in past uh, persistence. As a military standoff with China on the line of actual control enters its fourth year, New Delhi is in on no mood to accuse to Beijing's recent efforts to promote a narrative that the situation in Ladakh is stable and uh, moving towards normalized management. People familiar with the matter said. Uh, a brutal clash at Galwan Valley which resulted in the death of 20 Indian soldiers and at least four Chinese troopers took uh, bilateral ties to the lowest point in six decades. And the Times also states that number of Indian students in United States increased in 2022 declined from China report. All four regions in the United States saw an increase in international student records from 2021 to 2022. In 2022, India sent more students to the United States as compared to the previous years, while China sent fewer. According to the new report, the number of students from China and India made Asia the most popular continent of origin, or comparable to the drop of from the calendar year 2020 to 2021. China sent fewer students in 2022 compared to... Uh, to, to uh, compared, sorry... Compared to 2021, minus 24,796, while India sent more students, 64,300. United States Immigration and Customs Efforts Enforcement said in its annual report. Going towards the economy of the country, S&P Global a PMI signal Indian manufacturing hit a four-month peak in April. For India's manufacturing sector, new orders and production levels uh, recorded their strongest growth uh, so far in 2023 during the April as per the seasonally adjusted S&P Global India Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index PMI, which rose to 57.2 from 56.4 in March. Indians as American dream EB5 visa may become a uh, costlier uh, by one like twenty thousand dollar from July first. Uh, the current existing fee of uh, eight lakh dollar will go up by fifteen percent to nine lakh twenty thousand dollar. Uh, once the taxation on outbound remittances uh, come into play later this year. People may be, end up paying an extra fee of uh, $1,20,000, that is Rs. 98 lakh for the EB-5 visa. Uh, one of the centers recently proposed taxation on outbound remittances comes into effect from the July 1st, 2023. Five key industry verticals are to drive hiring of STEM qualified women in financial year 2024. Uh, Tirunel Veli, uh, Tamil Nadu, 29 2023. Uh, aspirants who were participating in the job fair uh, held at uh, Saratakar College for Women in Paliaman Koti on Saturday, 29 April 2023. Going towards the world news, including Canadian government proposes ban on assault style firearms. Aim China pressure, United States and Philippines recommend to security allies. Number of Indian students in the United States rose in 2022. Those from China declined, says report. United States Commission seeks sanctions on Indian agencies over the violation of religious freedom. 
United States believes uh, Russians have suffered one lakh casualties in five months. Going towards the science and technology, IIT Mundi startup uh, develops AI-based solution to detect respiratory genetic disorders. An IIT Mundi incubated a startup uh, has built a cost-effective AI-based medical imagination, imaga imaging uh, solution able to diagnose respiratory abnormalities that have significant mortalities. An IIT Mundi incubated startup uh, has built a cost effective artificial intelligence based medical imaging solution. India reports 4,282 new COVID cases. The country on May 1st reported 4,282 coronavirus infections, while the number of active cases dropped over. As 1750 to stand of 47246, according to the latest health ministry, the number of COVID 19 cases are dropped by over 1750 to a stand at 47246, according to the latest health ministry data. File photo of the healthcare worker collecting the swab sample of a woman for a COVID 19 test and a rise in coronavirus is uh, a case in the country on April 15, 2023. Russia introduces GigaChat to complete uh, with OpenAI's chat GPT. Russian banking institution Superbank announces the release and uh, testing phase of an AI chatbot uh, called GigaChat Giga chat, uh, that will complete with OpenAI's chat GPT. Russia's largest banking institution announced the release and testing of its AI chatbot uh, GigaChat, uh, the country's competitor uh, for the OpenAI's ChatGPT. Russia announces the release and testing of its AI chatbot GigaChat. At last, there is a famous quotation said by a famous uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Whose birth anniversary is 7 May 1861 to 7 August 1941, was a Bengali polymath who worked as a poet, writer, playwright, composer, philosopher, social reformer, and painter. He reshaped Bengali literature and music as well as Indian art with the contextual modernism in the late 19th century and early 20th century. Author of the profoundly uh, sensitive, fresh, and beautiful poetry of Gitanjali, he became 1913 the first non European and the first lyricist to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. Tiger's poetic songs were wavered in as a spiritual and merciful. However, his elegant prose and magical poetry remain largely unknown outside Bengal. He was a fellow of the Royal Asiatic Society, referred to as the Bard of Bengal. Tiger was known by sobriquets Gurudev, Kobi Guru, and Biswo Kobi. Rabindranath Tagore says a famous quotation. He states that the most important lesson that man can learn from life is not that there is pain in this world, but that it is possible for him to transmute it into the joy. Okay, thank you.